as crypto markets recover slowly from a 72 hour bear run. You're likely hearing a mix of bullish coin buyers saying buy the dip and bearish skeptics saying the crash is nigh. Regardless of opinion, coin buyers still make a very common math error when it comes to evaluating coins bought at different prices. Let's see if you get this right. Let's say you spend 1000 rupees to buy coins priced at rupees 200. Then the price dips to 100 rupees and you spend another 1000 rupees to buy the dip. What is the average cost of your coin? 150 rupees? Most investors give this wrong answer. But actually, it is rupees 133.33 because you have spent 2000 rupees and bought 15 coins. Why does this mistake matter? If the current price of the coin is 100 rupees and you buy such that the average price of a coin is 133.33, then you know that as long as the coin price is increased by 33%, you start to make gains. If, on the other hand, you think your portfolio average is Rs. 150, the coin needs to go up by 50% for you to break even. This simple mistake is why most losses happen in an economic crash. Investors overestimate the level of recovery needed in the market and therefore perform a premature exit or they do not sufficiently reduce the average price of their portfolio by buying low. Remember to subscribe to the My Money Karma channel and keep mining crypto knowledge. Its price only seems to keep going up.